Hi, welcome to the Market Alert up for Thursday, 22nd of August 2019. So the yield curve tumbles once more back into inversion. That's for the two and the ten year. The three month and ten month remain inverted as the Fed sparks mid cycle maelstrom. So uh, no news yesterday really to shout about with regards to the FOMC meeting. And if we have a look at uh, the intraday chart first, you will see how the market uh, reacted to this. Uh, this is the news, as you can see, huge volume. And then they brought the market back, but uh, it couldn't break the resistance and move lower. And then the plunge protection team came in just before the close and moved the market back to the upside. Prices have been moving up in the intraday, sorry, on the overnight market, which you can see here as well. If we come all the way back, you can see this was the catalyst straight through the 200 bar moving average, very high volume. And this allowed the market uh, to just continue to move all the way up to the close. And then they continue to move it to the upside until the Fed announcement there. So let's just uh, reset this and have a look now. So overnight, uh, the markets uh, pulled back off the plunge protection team's uh, efforts. And you can see there, try to hold at the 200 bar moving average and then uh, the selling came back to the market and prices have moved lower just finding support at the moment so a close back above the 200 bar moving average is going to be required to move this market higher and the news today that may help or may not is european news uh, french german and uh, yeah just the two french german uh, french pmi german pmi so we'll see but this market's more interested in uh, trump's tweets and keeping it uh, moving to the upside, as we've seen uh, before. So let me find, uh, that's the S&P, the daily for the Dow. Uh, you can see yesterday the market trading through the 20 bar moving average. I'll say yesterday, that was just uh, after the close and now on the way back as well. And I'm not convinced by this move at all. And if the market's going to put the pressure on the Fed to reduce rates, they're going to have to move it lower, in my opinion so that it uh, creates a bit of a panic with the Fed to reduce interest rates to zero or negative like the rest of the world and uh, start printing money again. So, yep, yeah, there's some resistance there. Watch the market closing back below the 26,132. And if it does move to the upside, watch uh, through the 26,395 area. So let's have a, a quick look at uh, the implied volatilities this is the uh, just bring this through here this is the uh, uh, 20 bar moving average in both the implied volatility and the prices we're still not back above this and we're just seeing this now the overnight market has traded through it but hasn't held and uh, we've turned amber on here because we've closed back below the 20 bar moving average but those that are vigilant out there will uh, notice this if you look across here you can see that we've had this pattern before where the markets come back gone below the uh, moving average and then uh, we've seen the market uh, correct further as we see up here so we get this sort of uh, approach at the moment we've got this and then this and we could have this and we're seeing exactly the same pattern here as well. So we'll see because you've got your two peaks here. Peak there, peak there, and then there and there as well. And then coming back. This is why I spent so much time on the implied uh, trying to put these charts together because it's a fascinating picture of what uh, is actually going on because it's a leading indicator because it's based on uh, the cost of insurance in the option premiums. So yesterday we see this uh, drop below the 15 bar, sorry, the, the 20 bar moving average uh, from uh, 16, 69 down to 14.55. And as uh, refer back to here, that doesn't mean to say that uh, it could uh, see on the underlying prices move higher. It's more likely given the as we've just seen here, I'll just remind you of this, this low volume that uh, and also an agenda to force prices lower, to force the Fed 
uh, could be on the cards there. Let's have a quick look at uh, the pound uh, stuck in a bit of a sideways range. Uh, very quiet day yesterday for the pound as you can see. The 200 bar activity was interesting. The market traded back up to the 50 bar and then broke back through. Then it came back through again and then it broke back through. Uh, so it was acting more of a, a magnet uh, yesterday uh, for this market. And again, if we have a, a look at what it's doing now, it's uh, still below the 200 bar moving average at the moment and waiting for the French and German news out uh, later this morning and in Bitcoin this uh, moving lower trading down to the 76% retracement that uh, we drew in yesterday market sitting on this at the moment the four hour chart as we saw back below the uh, 200 bar moving average with uh, a lot of selling bit of buying pressure there but failing to hold as uh, we're seeing prices move uh, lower there also and in the 15 minutes uh, yesterday uh, way below the 200 bar moving average as I spoke of yesterday the short term was short the medium term was short and it was only the daily that was uh, long uh, you can see this here and then uh, we got to let's buy the market back you can see this here so uh, massive spike back and then prices uh, moved higher but at the moment become uh, fairly narrow there uh, overnight uh, the market uh, spiking down again uh, one thing I do love about this is the volume is uh, blatant and the manipulation is blatant as well by using the futures contracts to drive prices lower and then just uh, reverse it and bring it back but at the moment this market uh, under pressure it's whether the uh, 76% retracement will hold if it breaks then you're looking at this sort of level and also just mark it up the low of this bar as well so let's pop that one in there again looking at this today they're the areas that I want to uh, keep a, an eye on so all of these three here and then finally, let's have a quick look at uh, Deutsche Bank. Uh, this holding up nicely after trading down to here. No doubt that it's uh, going to have another look at this. When it will be, I don't know, but it, uh, I'll certainly be keeping an eye on it, that's for sure. And uh, yet the yield curves remain inverted. They haven't updated the site yet to uh, show you the chart. Uh, they're only up to the 20th or 21st data is missing, but it certainly uh, remains inverted on the 3 to 10 month. And again, all consistent with uh, a recession down the line. I don't know that cheery note. I will conclude here. As ever, thanks for watching and see you in the next.